Usually, when we create an integration and expose our REST or SOAP services, we authenticate the users with the help of basic authentication wherein the user can enter the username and the password and consume our integration. Also, this applies to whenever the integration is making a call to Oracle integrations in built REST APIs. At that time, also we configure our connections with the username password. This will increase the overhead on the IDCS. At each and every point, it has to validate the user against the credentials. Also, the main challenge in maintaining such kind of application is the passwords associated with those usernames get expired in three or four months for the usual IDCS license holders. So updating those passwords in all the places like third party application or in-house applications like VBC is calling integration, integration is calling Oracle's APIs with the help of connections. All those places we need to make the changes while modifying those details. If we miss out any one place, then the user will get locked. All those challenges could be overcome by using the password which never expires. What Oracle calls this as service integration account. There is a detailed documentation by Oracle on creating service integration account which has no password expiry. This is the documentation. You can have a look at this. We have made the concept easier for the people who cannot understand that documentation by Oracle. So we are going to make use of Postman application in order to carry out those curl commands whatever Oracle has mentioned over here. We are not going to make a curl command. So the first and the foremost thing is we need to get those export for collection and environment by clicking on this here. This is the hyperlink which will take you to oracle.com website there oracle has attached the collections and environment exports. Going there just download or from the reference section in this document you can download the postman exports. I will show you where is this reference section at the end of this class. Once you get the exports for environment, what you have to do is you have to go to your Postman client, switch over to this environments menu, click here import, then it will ask for the upload file, select the file from your local computer and click on import. So once you do, you will see this OIC example. This will have so many environment variables. So we are going to change this IDCS hostname with our IDCS hostname for which we are going to generate service account. Just make sure you don't put https colon slash slash only up to dot com starting from IDCS we have to populate over here. Let me remove this whatever we populate we will just update this with blank. So you have to update those places with the values from your instances. OIC example environment variable created. So this we have verified it how it looks then we told we need to update the IDCS host details over here. Next we need to import the collection export. Again, we can click on that hyperlink which I had shown in the previous page or from the reference section, we can get the collection export. Once we get that export, we need to switch over to this collections tab, click on import. Here it will ask to upload the files. We need to select the export and once you do, you will see this no password expiration OIC collection getting imported. So it is basically having five steps or the five requests. So this you will be able to see. We will explain slowly in bits and pieces how we have to go ahead and make use of those requests and generate the service account. Same thing is explained over here. You can just refer this. Once we are done with the Postman collection, next we need the application ID for our integration instance. For that we need to go to our IDCS application. Then we need to click on this navigation menu. So once you click, you will get such kind of navigation menu on the left side. So here we need to go to Oracle Cloud Services. From here you will get the application ID. Suppose if you are unable to follow this navigation steps, then what you can do is we can click on this identity console, click on the navigation button, then you will see this Oracle Cloud Services. In few of the applications or the instances, this will be applicable and few of the applications or the instances, this will be applicable. So once you click on Oracle Cloud Services, it will show you the instances or the Oracle Cloud Services which are attached with this IDCS instance. So we need to go for this integration cloud service, whatever is there, just click on that. Once you click on that, it will open such screen. From here, we need to make a note of this application ID. This is nothing but OIC app ID. The same we need to update in the Postman's environment variable. So it is over here. We need to go to environments. It is OIC app ID. So whatever we get from the IDCS, we need to populate over here in OIC app ID. I have documented it over here. Once this is done, next we have to create the service administrator application.
we need to have one administrator application that is nothing but confidential application which with the help of which we are going to create service accounts so in order to do that we have to log into our idcs if you see the navigation menu over here we need to click on applications once you click on this applications you will get a button over here to create a new application or register a new application that is click on add the button will be named as add once you click on add you will get such kind of pop-up here we need to select confidential application as we are creating a confidential application in oracle's idcs all those tasks must be performed by the administrator suppose if you are a developer you may not have in most of the times in your projects the administrator role suppose if you are having administrator role then you will be having those access that is to create a confidential application once you click on that next it will open such kind of screen wherein it will have a train kind of layout in first it is asking for details then client resources web tier policy and authorization so once it opens this add confidential application creation page in the details page we have to populate the name and the description if you want to upload the icon you can do that as well once you populate all those details click on next it is always recommended to create a application that is confidential application with underscore service administration suffix you can name anything but better to do the like this so that you can know why you have created those application once you click on next in next step we have to select this configure this application as a client now in most of the cases when you click on next it will be selected as skip for later you shouldn't skip for later you have to select this that is configure this application as a client now once you click on this you will get couple of options to select that is we from there we need to select this client credentials and refresh token so it will look something like this also when you, once you select this configure this application as a client now we need to select this client credentials and the refresh token once you select this client credential and the refresh token just scroll the page at the bottom you will get such option that is grant the client access to identity cloud service admin apis so we need to click on this add that is plus so once you click on plus we need to select identity domain administrator role once you click on add you will get such kind of pop-up here you need to search just make use of this crawler on the right side what i am showing over here and select identity domain administrator once you do that click on this add button over here and click on next at which it will be at the top of the page over here next it will land you to resources page in resources page we don't have to select this configure this application as a resource server now this time we will skip for later and click on next on clicking on next it will take you to web tier policy here also we won't modify any details we are skipping for later once done click on finish so the application added dialog will be displayed something like this here you will get the client id and the client secret just make a note of this that is client id and client secret because we are going to populate those details in the postman once you do this we need to click on the activate button over here whatever administrator or the confidential application you created you need to activate it then only we will be able to consume this in postman just click on activate so whatever details we got from here that is client id and the client secret we need to populate here in the postman environment variables that is over here that is client id what we get for that confidential application we need to populate over here and the client secret we need to populate over here these are for confidential application the next step in creating the service account is we need to configure the service integration application in order to do that we are going to make use of those requests whatever we had imported to our postman first click on this that is step one request get auth access token we had populated this client id and the client secret now everything is accessed with this variables in the postman now if you see the request for this go to authorization here the username and the password these are referenced from the variables that is environment variables in order to make use of that variable just you need to click on this arrow or the drop down and select the oic example that is the environment variable which we had imported we need to do that and click on this send so once we send in the response we will get the access token as you see over here once we get this access token we need to populate the same in the environment variables in the access underscore token the it will be under oic example over here just remove this now so we had populated all those things whatever we have removed so we have got the access token with the step one request in the postman collection that is this one
next step in this collection is to create the basic authentication so this is the username which we are going to make use while invoking the integration which is nothing but service account before sending the request with the help of this step 2 request in the collection we need to make sure we update this si client id variable in the environment variable in the postman just make sure you suffix this and with underscore basic auth so before this you want to put any name you can put like oic test basic auth oic sit oic prod like this you can name accordingly and based in the customer like oic so and so partner then underscore basic auth basic auth because you have to identify that that particular application is created in order to make use of this basic authentication or in other words service account purpose so let's go to this oic example environments so here we need to add the name so whatever you want you can add as per your business requirement or as per your need so once you do that we need to make use of this step to request in that collection and click on send that is this one here if you see it is based on the bearer token the access token whatever we have updated in the environment variable it will be referenced over here in the body if you want you can just check that is the si client id what we updated just now it is making use over here in the body while making a request the response will look something like this over here so here in the response we will get the application id client id we already passed while making a request and the secret we will get so in this step we will get the app id and the secret so if you see there will be a tag called as meta under that there will be a location so after apps whatever is there it is your app id so the same you need to update over here in the oic postman environments just update over here whatever you get after app slash if you scroll that response further you will get the secret as well it is over here at the end of this step to request response you will get the client secret just copy this make a note of this and update it over here so we have updated everything apart from this app role id this we will get in the next step the same steps are described over here we need to update the postman also we can check the application which is created in the idcs so in our case i have named something like oic underscore basic auth if you want you can just make sure from the idcs whether that application has been created or not now we'll make use of the third request over here in the collection that is basic auth that is used to activate this application so for this purpose there is this activate application request just hit on this send button because the app id what we got from previous step we updated in the variable and it will be referenced over here because of that it is activating to true also you can make use of idcs and activate this screenshot was taken post activating this application if you want to do from the idcs you can do from idcs you can altogether remove this step in your postman if you are doing it manually step 4 is required in order to get the application role id that is for granting service user role for that particular service account or the application for our particular oracle integration instance for this purpose so for this purpose we are having this step 4 in this postman collection so here if you see the request the app id what we got in the previous step it will be referenced over here this is the request of type get so once we click on send we will get in the response the service users id so this is nothing but oic app role id suppose we want to use our service account as a service user then we can make use of this if you want to make use of developer user then you can use developer users id for this demonstration we are just considering the user with the help of which the applications can invoke our integration or integration can invoke rest apis of oracle integration using this username and password or the client id secret you cannot log into integration instance it will throw unauthorized user so once you get this service user id we need to populate over here in the variables i'm just removing this yeah now we have got everything in this and we have executed almost four requests in this postman collection and the last one what is there is we have to grant that particular user to oracle integration instance we not do that we are having this fifth request in our postman collection if you observe here the request in the body the app role id whatever we got in a previous step we are adding it over here for that particular instance this at the beginning of this class we had got from the idcs 
and the app ID we retrieved in the step 2 from the URL. So once we populate all the details as these are referenced from the environment variables, we will get the response. It should be 201 created. So once done, you can just verify. You can go to your IDCS. In the integrations tab, you can log into your IDCS, select the Oracle integration instance for whichever you have associated your user. Then you will see under service user, one application has been assigned. If you click on this, it will show you what is the application. Basically, it will be your client ID. That is SI client ID, whatever you have populated over here. Suffix it with underscore basic auth. Same thing, it will be populated over here. At the end of this document, I have demonstrated with the help of this SI client ID and the SI client secret. That is SI client ID and the SI client secret. I am going to invoke one of the integrations which have exposed our REST API. I have created a postman request for this and clicked on send with the SI client ID and the SI client secret. And I have got the response from that particular integration. So with the help of this, you can invoke Oracle integrations REST APIs, also the integration which are exposed over SOAP on as well as over REST APIs. So by following all those steps, you will get the username and the password which will never expire and it will ease the job of support and the maintenance team so that for every three or four months, they don't have to update the username password in all the applications and also we don't want to burden our customers or the partners saying our integration password got expired every three four months at the beginning of the class i have told you that i am going to show you where i have attached this postman collection exports so it's over here you can click on this here and go to oracle.com website and download this postman collection or you can just download it from here Here is the big announcement for our subscribers and viewers. We are launching membership program for Binum Learning. You may now join Binum Learning as a member and get exclusive perks or the rewards. In order to know more or join and be a member, you need to go to our channel. After landing into our channel page, you need to click on this join. When you click on join, you will get various membership plans. Accordingly, you can select and unlock the perks or the rewards which are available for that particular membership. For more details, you can anytime come over to our page and click on this join button. Similar steps you can follow over the phone as well. You can go to our channel, there you will find the join button. You need to click and check the memberships and select one among the many and become a member of Binam Learning channel. It includes various perks like exclusive videos only for members, early access of videos to members and lot of other perks available. If you are happy with our content and want to thank us or support us, you can straight away come to this link and you can buy us a coffee like 1, 3, 5. So these numbers are equivalent to US dollars. If you want to buy more coffees, you can just enter the number over here and click on buy. We would like to thank all our subscribers, viewers and members for showing your support and constantly helping us by giving your valuable feedback so that we bring good content to you regularly. Thank you once again and happy learning.